Hello again, YouTube. Welcome back to the Hidden Artifacts channel. I am here at another local park in Lansing. Uh, this time I have decided to explore an old baseball field. Uh, I know some people have had some luck with some jewelry and other things being found, so I hope to uh, score something big today. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it's right off a pretty busy road here, and I know that uh, this place has been used for quite some time. So, got a lot of land to cover, as you can see behind me here. Maybe you'll find something cool today. You never know. Here we go. Got a really strong nickel hit here. Uh, it's a pretty big item. Not too far under. No. <laughs> the old berry spoon. See if we have any markings on here. Yeah, it does say something. Nickel silver, which from what I understand contains no silver. I think it's nickel or brass or something. There you go. Okay, right off the uh, field here. Got a pretty strong coin hit, and it's a green. Looks like I nicked it with my shovel. Ooh. That is Wheat Penny. Nice. I'll clean it up and see what I can find. Alright, it might be a little bit hard to see, but it looks like we got a 1937. Nice. 80 year old coin. Right off the edge of the baseball field again, I get another coin hit. Right in the middle. Oh, this one's weird. <laughs> it is super warped. What in the heck is this? I'm seeing some green on there. I'm gonna have to clean this one up a little bit and let's take a look what this guy is. This could be interesting. All right, what we have is a penny. The date is completely illegible, and, but it is a wheat penny. It's just been through the ringer for sure. I don't think I've ever seen a coin this mangled before. I must have gotten hit by a lawnmower a long time ago. I'll try to keep cleaning that one up at home, but who knows how old that is. It's a good sign though, I found two wheat pennies pretty quickly from one another. Hoping to find silver now. This one's a little curious, not quite sure what this is. It was ringing up as a dime. Anybody has any ideas as to what that might be? I'd love to know. I gotta say I'm getting pretty good at this pinpointing thing. Flipped over this plug and this is literally sitting on the very tip of it. <laughs> Still, just a pull tab, but look at that, dead center. Just turned this over and right in the side of this plug is something strange. It is <laughs> a little flower. Pendant maybe? We'll take a closer look at this. Okay, I'm a little excited because I had a pocket spill apparently. I got a penny over here, penny over here, penny down here, and this little guy popped out and it looks gold. I'm 
Nope. <laughs> At least I doubt it. That's too bad. Yes, I can. Well, it's begun to rain. So I'm just going to wait it out in the car for a little while. See if I can let it pass. It says it should be going away in about 20 minutes or so. I'm really hoping it will because I've got a little bit more of this field to detect and haven't found much other than clad and some little trinkets here and there. So here's to hoping the rain will clear and I can get back out there and hit the rest of this park. I'll let you know. The rain has stopped, so I think I'll have a couple more hours here. Uh, just hit the middle of the field. And this little guy popped out. Not entirely sure what this is. It's got some kind of writing on it. So I'll clean this up a little bit and we'll, we'll see what we got. Well, no writing. It used to be, I think, a button of some kind. It's got a little post here. Really strange. It's got like a plasticky feel to the cover. Um, and there's something that used to be under there, but who knows what that was. It looks pretty old, though. It's an interesting find. Very strange. It's getting a really strong copper hit. And I found out why. This is pretty far down. It's about eight inches down. Any clues what that could be? It's threaded. I mean, it looks to me like some kind of cover for a valve or something, but it's, it appears to be pure copper. There's no markings on it as far as I can tell. You can see where I was hitting it with my digging tool. It's really strange. Pretty cool find though. I'm right next to the zoo, which is kind of over that way. I just dug up this little screw cap. <laughs> that was a, kind of funny. Where are the penguins? All right, I will. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see what I've got. So as you can see, tons and tons and tons of clad change. Um, nothing too spectacular. I mean, most of it's just brand new. I found that, you know, closer to the, um, to the baseball diamond, it was just pretty much all clad. Uh, there really wasn't much there of value at all. Um, I don't know, it looks to be a couple bucks and change. Uh, I did manage to find these two guys, though. These are two little wheat pennies. Pretty crusty, pretty old. Um, these are closer to the baseball diamond. This one's a 1937, I think. Yep, and then this one I, I have no idea, it's completely mangled. A couple little interesting finds, obviously tons and tons of pull tabs. Pulled those out of the ground, we got the spoon, copper plate, um, pencil eraser, that weird button thing that I found, not sure what that is. I think this is a cleat bullet, this little whirly gig. This little piece of metal, I don't know what this is, it's super shiny, it broke right in half, it's pretty heavy. But, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's really, really, really shiny on the inside. This little flower token, a couple buckles, this big old thingamajiggy. I thought this one was really funny. Beware the penguins. <laughs> and then the baseball. That was just a surface find. Oh, these two little guys. I think this is aluminum. And then the Yes I Can button. So nothing really of value, unfortunately. Lots of scrap, but still fun nonetheless. So thank you again guys for watching and subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button if you can, tell your friends about my channel. Uh, I absolutely love the support. The year is winding up unfortunately, so I've maybe only got a couple more hunts before the weather turns uh, too cold to be able to do anything else, but I'm gonna try to get in as many more as I can. Um, I got a couple good ideas. I'm gonna head to the beach here too, uh, actually tomorrow. So we'll do one more beach hunt for the year. Thanks again, guys. Keep digging.